Mars is a two-year cycle. So you see it, you can see it in six months points, but I'll just say it, at one year, half a Mars cycle, by then we're usually learning to stand up. And as soon as we stand up and we can start to run and go around and move around, can't really run, maybe walk a bit. Boy, it requires a whole different attention to the parents. And then we're, we're trying to do things. Every time we try and do something, we're being blocked by the parents because it's dangerous. We can hurt ourselves. So we're having to learn how to stand up, how to run, how to walk. By the time we're two, it's the beginning of the second Mars cycle. And the two years, just before two, a little bit, but this is the, the terrible twos when kids start doing things and not just listen. They have their certain amount of strength. They'll run, they'll jump, they'll try and they'll throw things, they'll hit, they, they, they'll punch, they'll bite, they'll, like bite, kick, scream. All of these, I mean, already from a baby, they they scream at discomfort and unpleasure, and it, they can build, you can already see the temperament of the anger and the energy as it's built up, how they use it. And you don't always see who's fast, who's slow, who's strong, but it begins to become manifest. By the first, by two years old, you have a sense of it because you can see how they're putting out energy, and they begin to see how other kids are putting out energy about the same age. And you really see it in this cycle between two and four, because you've got the preschool or kindergarten and the interreactions, and some kids are bullies, some kids aren't. So we see Mars as the god of war, but it's really strength, how you use force, how you use energy. And in a way, the way I like to think of Mars, it's your desire for experience. You know, so when we're 15, we have a desire for a certain type of experience and everything's on go for that. The hormones tend to take over. When we're 40, when we're 45, it's a different type of experience. We're, we're at a different attitude to experience. By the time we're 60, there's only so much we can do or what we want to do. But there's stages. So by the time every kid in two, in two years goes through one Mars cycle. And in that Mars cycle, there's a lot every day. There's always new experiences and things being done and the muscles and the strength are being tested. So your muscles, the strength of your muscles, your power to use them, your, your coordination is more mercury, but it works with the Mars in terms of being able to do things, how fast, how slow you are, how strong, how weak, your muscle tone. Your muscle tone at any time is the symbol of where your Mars is at, how healthy your Mars is. So your desire for experience, I want to do this. I got a, a kid who wants to run or a kid wants to be able to, I mean, if a kid's crawling, and they see a cookie on the table, they're gonna to wanna to climb and go over to the cookie or they're gonna to wanna to go do things. And a lot depends on whether parents are proactive or defensive or different attitudes to that. So, um, but every day we're adding experiences. The soul is always gaining experiences, but Mars is our desire to have experiences, to go do things. Venus is, oh, I don't wanna do anything. Bring me the, bring me the sweets, bring me the desserts make me feel nice. Venus is your charm, but Mars is your hormones and your adrenaline. It's like, I want to do this. So in a relationship, when you're older, Mars is your passions about, I can prove, I can satisfy you. I want to satisfy you. I can do this for you. So there's a strong power in that. You meet someone and they want to do things for you. Wow. Your Venus can be really turned on. Wow. That's really nice. But if they do it in a way that's stronger, that you don't like, or that's a little forceful, aggressive, your Venus is saying, I don't want this. I don't like this. This isn't satisfying. So we all have this Venus trying to be satisfied and the Mars trying to prove that we can do things so that we can get the things that will satisfy us. Or we'll do, I'll do this for you if you do this for me. It's a give and take. So this give and take around passions, about giving passions and receiving passions, but it's also about doing anything and letting other people do things or being appreciated. Like, I do something, you like what I've done? Well, if we do something for something they don't like what you've done, it's hard to understand, it's hard to accept, and great tempers come out of that. So, even though we say it's just a desire for experience, it's energy, it's how you use force, when you're looking at the experiential side of it, it's very different. So by the time you get to half a Mars cycle, well, pretty well the first year of one's life, you could say most kids go through the same type of development. You read it in the baby books, you can see, you watch them if you had kids. But really, if you compare any two kids in the first year, they, their experiences become very differenti differentiated. They have different 
types of experience, a certain general thing growing up, but then how early one stands, how they're encouraged by parents, or, or how they do things. So by the time they're a year, they're very different. They have a sense of confidence and of being themselves. But when you start comparing different one-year-olds, you can, at first glance you see the same, but what their actual dynamic is of how they do things and what they can do is very different. And by two, even more so. So by the time we're, we get to the second bar cycle, two to four, the types of experiences, the things we've done or haven't done, the strength we have, and the things we've made happen or have done in our life become very differentiated. It becomes very different for each person. So even though you say, oh, there's my kid's one, my kid's two, my kid's starting JK, senior, junior kindergarten. And, but when you're doing that, each person, each kid, by the time they're getting to junior kindergarten, they've had one and a half, two years, two, two more cycles. And they've had a lot of personal experiences about their body, about their strength, about their muscle, about doing things, about making things happen, what they can get away with, what they can't get away with, um, if they're allowed to do things, not allowed to do things, they have their temper, and then they start running into other people and other kids. And even then, who they like, who they don't like is going to further differentiate these cycles of Mars. So every two years in our life, we get a cycle of Mars, and they're very unique to each other, and each time, we, we, if one person is strong, they become more athletic or more aggressive. Someone else is not, and they're going a different way. They, as each two-year cycle goes on, the differentiations become much, much more different. People do things many, many different ways. So um, it takes all kinds to make the world. But Mars is this diversity of how things are done. Why one person does things one way or one to a certain degree, we all have certain types that we got to get up, we got to move, we got to bone our muscles, you know, and we got to use them. And yet, by the way we think, by what we feel, how we feel secure, our memories, by our values, by our confidence, all of the inner things affect how we put things out. And it's quite a marvelous um, puzzle. So it's hard to say just looking at a Mars and Persian chart, you can see certain themes and attitudes. But when you really have to watch it with the trance to see how that's working for a person, in which cycle, at which age they're at. So that's in the timings. We get to that. But this. I wanted to expand it because Mars is a huge function. You know, how to use energy. How to, the desire we have for experience, not the desire to receive things, that's Venus. Not the desire to get things, the desire to do things. I want to run, I want to climb, I want to go out on the road, I want to climb onto the roof, I want to, I want to go play football, or I want to dance, or I want to skate, or I want, like, or I just want to, or I don't want, my brother, my kid brother, my other one taking my attention. I don't like this. I'm going to push to be the dominant one. So this pushing, this adrenaline, we have it every day. How much adrenaline? How much do we use? How much do we make happen? How do we channel it? And in channeling it, there's good things we can do. There's sort of good things we can do. And there's bad things we can do. And there's terrible things we can do. And the only thing you be sure of what happens is what you put out, Mars, it's going to come back on some level or another. So as we're older, when we put out energy towards a relationship, towards a job, towards anything, we put out the energy, we put out the energy, and we have expectations of what we're going to get from it. But if we don't put it out quite exactly, we, we're just going on 20 cups a day or a coffee a day, or we're not really making an effort. If we're making too much of an effort, that's one thing. We'll alienate ourselves, but we'll get things done. If we are not aggressive enough, we get lazy. We don't try it. Why bother? And that it begins to affect other people and other situations around us. So for, no matter what happens, whatever Mars is, it's a, the world is going to react to it. We're going to cause it. It's energy we're putting it that's affecting other things that are going to affect us. There's healthy ways, there's unhealthy ways. So really, we don't really see the energy. You usually see how somebody's using their energy and whether they're using it good or bad. Okay, so even though energy is, it's like, if you think for adults, if someone, you see these sexual advertisements for, um, just for, for any anything, they're playing on, if you had sex, you're happy, and you're dancing, and it's easy to do things. If you haven't, you're going to be angry and frustrated and uptight. Many sitcoms plays play on this factor. So our confidence 
a lot of athletes, they have their strength, they have their confidence, they put their energy in and they work out and they discipline it and they work it and they really direct their energy. Well, but that's not everybody. So this spectrum of different types of experience at different ages, at different times, this is all Mars. It's, um, it's always a puzzle. There's always a, a reaction for anything you put out, there's going to be a reaction that comes back. So if you put out anger, no good will come out. If you put out bad energy, if you're hurting other people, if you're doing things illegally, if you're klutzy and falling over, if you, whatever, ha whatever energy is there, you know exactly what you put out the same degree of energy will come back. It may not come exactly the same, it may come in slightly different ways, but that exact same energy is gonna come back to you. So when you get into bad aggressive habits, they accumulate the energy, those experiences accumulate. And if you do a whole bunch of little bad things, at some point, you're either gonna have a whole bunch of little bad things come back to you, or they may build up until one big thing comes back at you. So this puzzle of trying to figure out Mars or how it works or how I can use my energy. You get ideas of what's good and what's bad or what would work or what may not work. And of course, when you want something, you can, you can seduce, you can seduce the Mars. Venus is always trying to seduce and say, I want this. And the mind's trying to direct it. And they say, Venus seduces the mind. The mind starts directing the Mars saying, we want this. So we got to do this. What are we going to do with it? And it keeps haunting us. Do we do the things to get what we want or negatively? keeps making us angry because we're not getting what we want or we're not doing the things that we want. So we're starting to get in the puzzle of the human psyche and our natures, but we're looking at functional patterns. We're looking at each one separately. So when you start putting together, we start to see what a human is or what being human is. But Mars, this energy force, a lot of times in life, we, you see when we're watching, when we're doing things, we, we notice our energy by cuts, burns, fevers, rashes, hot spells, anger, impatience, restlessness. These are all symptoms of Mars, of how we use energy. And it's like, like, this is why it's such a puzzle to try and figure out what Mars is. But it is, um, it's prominent. It, it, you're going to look at Mars to see what kind of work would a person have? What do you want to do? What do you want to work at?